Hi YouTube, Profil is back. Today I'm gonna show you how to do maintenance on this very old, actually very old because it is 15 years old, garage door opener. This is a pneumatic one, hydraulic actuator. We have 220 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. It goes up to 30 bar for uh, 180 watts of power, okay? Now, this is an hydraulic actuator, what does it mean? You have a piston here, as you see, this is a piston. You have the cylinder where the oil goes inside and outside, push the piston forward or eventually back. Here you have the pump, I'm gonna show you internally once you're going to dismount everything. And finally, you get the motor that moves the pump. Now, in this case, as anticipated, we have that this is really whole, too whole. Actually, anything is working. We have that the piston is blocked. He is losing, it is losing a lot of oil. So I think that all the ceilings are not really in good conditions. So I'm going to, and obviously the motor is not going. And now I'm gonna try to understand why the piston is blocked. I'm gonna clean the old oil. I just want to take away all the dust that we have on the surface and eventually think that we're gonna have a lot of dust inside. And finally, I have to understand the reason why this motor is, is not working. I'm starting by opening the motor in its backward part. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna unscrew all the four screws at the bottom of the motor. Okay, as you see, they are really, there is a lot of dirt inside. Actually, we need to pay attention because in this point and also in this point, we have two ceilings, two paper ceilings that are keeping the oil inside the tank, okay? Let's try to open it. Okay. Okay, and so as you see here, we have three cables, as pre previously seen. Four, excuse me. One is the ground, that is the green one. Two phases, forward and backward. And finally, we got the black one that I think there is one that is the common ground, okay? As you see here, we have a lot of oil that I need to... Okay, as you see inside, there is the motor. This is the electrical motor, but it is really, there is a lot of dust inside. These are oil residuals, okay? So we need to take them all out. This is the paper ceiling. Let's see how it's conditions. Okay. So we got it. It's not that bad, but however, we have a lot of residuals on that. I don't, oh, okay, that's wrong. That's bad, really bad. Mm. I'm not really skilled in that. Okay. Let's open it on the other side. Before doing that, I think I just want to take care of this. Here we have. I'm going to unscrew these two screws in order to keep out this protection. This is a big protection for the piston because you don't want anything to go on it, okay? It is a really delicate part. Okay, now is clear the technical solution. So you have the piston and this is the cylinder. Let's try to move this piston inside and out. Okay, now it's just moving. Okay, let's... It's... It's really... It's not moving, so I think I need to open it. I have unscrewed all the four screws on the other side, so let's open the whole tank. Okay, so we got it, finally. As you see also in this case, the ceiling is completely broken. Okay, as you see now, this is the motor, monophase motor, and here we have the pump. Now I just want to take it away, so how can I do that? Take away this aluminum tank, I have to... Keep this out. Now please notice that you have this component here, this blue component one, that is, I think on the common cable, uh, is a thermistor. This is a thermal sensor that's, uh, since you're gonna have the oil inside this chamber, um, if the oil goes up in temperature, uh, this is going to open the circuit. So the motor is not going forward, neither forward and backward. And so you won't work anything, okay? This is a, pro this is a protection. 
Okay, okay, so now we have this mount. Oh, we can open. Wow, you got it. Okay, now it's really clear. You have the motor, this group is the pump, this is the cylinder, and this is the piston that, that goes outside and it's okay, as you see here we have a lot of like this is okay, so now it's really clear here inside. There is a lot of residual, so residual, so I need to clean everything up. It's up there, okay. This is really in bad condition. You have the rubber that is really old and it's not working correctly anymore. You see? I have to unscrew all these two, these four. Final. Okay, now this is a really important point. I'm going to take away this mean shim. Okay. Pay attention. Okay, as you see here we have the ceilings. Okay, so let's open it. Fuck. There was a lot of oil inside. <clears throat> wow. I'm quite okay here. This is a big ceiling of rubber and this is the piston and the oil is pushing there in order to push the piston forward and backward. Let's see. Okay, now it's moving that way. Okay. The one here is the main ceiling, so I think it is in good condition, so I won't change it. I think. Okay, so once you have cleaned out everything that I messed out, okay, uh, I can proceed with the work. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I think it is clean enough. Mount everything back. Correctly, possibly. Okay, let's go. Let's see if it is going forward and backward. Okay, so guys, let's continue. Now, at that point, we have cleaned everything. We have cleaned the internal part of the cylinder and also the surface of the cylinder. Keep in mind that this surface has to be really, really clean because obviously we are going to put on it the ceiling. Since, as you remember from the beginning of the video, I completely broke the ceilings, I have to do them from scratch, okay? Now, I have this. That is a paper specifically designed for ceilings, okay? I'm gonna put the cylinder on it and uh, and I'm gonna cut it according to its shape, both external and internal shape, right? Uh, let's go.
Okay, so now we have done both seedings. They're not really perfect, I have to <laughs> be better in this, but anyway, uh, they're quite okay. So I hope they're going to do their work. I want to, I don't want to ruin some fun. One side is done, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so now, um, before connecting all the cables, I have to put the ceiling on. Hope won't ruin everything. And now I can reconnect. This cable, this is the per the earth. Two same colors, the two blue, are the two phases to in order to run the motor forward and backward. So I'm gonna connect them. It's the same, eventually you're gonna change the color. Outside, okay, this is one here. Keep always attention, on, okay. The only different one that goes in the common, that is the cable with the, therm with the thermal sensor. Okay, fine. Okay, so let's hope won't, hoping I won't, I'm not going to have a next time. I just lost two of them, fun. Right, finally, let's go. Everything is finished. It is perfectly sealed on both sides, as you see. Now we have to, uns I have to unscrew this bolt here on the top. I'm gonna fill with the oil and then I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna connect the capacitor here. I'm gonna do a bit of electrical circuit in order to be able to start and stop it via a switch, okay? Let's go. Okay, guys, since uh, this evening is a quite cold evening, the oil is not that much fluid, so I have to use quite a slow method with a syringe here. I'm gonna open it. Going to open the syringe, and then time by time, I'm gonna fill it and transfer the oil inside the chamber. In order to do that, obviously, I want to be in a comfortable position. Sorry, all the cables, and I'm gonna append this. Okay. I'm gonna fill the oil in that way, okay? Anyway, let's go. Let's try to do that another time. That's not working really well, but... Okay, I'm gonna push. Okay, so once we have filled the cylinder, we can tap it with a screw. That's okay. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the moment of the electrical connections. As you see here, I have three selectors. This is the capacitor. Uh, this is the connection for the electrical network. And finally, we go here to the motor. As you see, we have, I'm gonna show you the detail with the, with the scheme. And I'm going here inside uh, with the motor connection. These are the two cables that are going to the capacitor up there. And here I enter with the neutral and with the phase. Okay. And with this switch, you're gonna, uh, this is the common. And then you're gonna switch manually between one of the two. Let's go with the electrical scheme. I have a motor, okay, an electrical motor there. It turns forward and backward here. And I have an electrical network, obviously, right? So we have the neutral, let's say, and the phase. Now, first of all, here you have to switch. So you're gonna take, it depends. See, if you're gonna go forward, let's say forward, or eventually backward, you have to connect the uh, one cable to the forward connection or the backward connection, obviously. Now, here we have the earth. You're gonna connect the earth to the ground, 
the earth obviously you take one cable that is a common one you have to find it out in your motor in my case the common the common cable is the blue one okay so in this case is the common let's say common cable now we have two other cables coming out from the motor right these two cables the black one and the brown one okay let's say that in this case are black and brown Okay. One is for the forward, I don't really know, but in this phase I'm not really concerned about this because I'm not really interested now. Now I'm gonna let's say let's say that I'm gonna connect the forward here and the black the brown to the backward. Okay, the capacitor goes directly here. Finally, it's really simple. Capacitor C. This is eight microfarads, okay? Yes, eight microfarads, okay? And these two cables, remember brown and, and blue, are going these okay that are exactly between the two uh, selections forward and back backward okay really simple let's check we have too much cables i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna connect yes i'm alive that's okay one on i i feel another noise that's okay put it down so maybe it is yes it's working <laughs> i can see something moving you see, you see, okay? Yeah, it's returning back, okay. I have to stop it. Uh, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put the phase on the other switch, so... This switch is clearly the backward. I thought it was the, the forward, but I'm gonna change it, switch it to the forward direction. Phase, and we do have... Let's go. It's pushing, yes. As you see, we do not have that much oil, so I need... The pump. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Yes, yes, definitely. It has, doesn't have too much oil, so I need to do a refill, obviously. Let's go. Okay, so I have completed the filling procedure, the refilling procedure, so maybe now I do have too much oil. I'm gonna see it. Okay, so let's start it again. Okay. Uh, it's working quite a lot. Okay. This is the the most we will have about 27, 27 centimeter of extension. Okay, we are about 27 here. The one that we use to connect to the door. Okay, let's go. At this point, I'm gonna do all this procedure also in the other actuator that I have, beyond you actually. I just wanna do a quite interesting project, okay? I'm gonna open the door of my garage, and so let's hope it's working. Bye, guys.